Welcome to day 31. I'm just setting out from the B&B. Haven't come across any roses yet. I'll, you'll be the first to you'll be the first to know. I've only been walking a half hour before I come across my first rose of the day. Try to get my shadow up. <sighs> Thank you. It's going to be a warm one today. It feels like Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm now on the miner's way. Huh. Today's, today's walking is much quieter, much more relaxed. Well, I'm, I'm off the N4 for one thing. I know I, I know I did it, probably. <laughs> I'm not, not a good thing walking on here, but I was just so anxious to get to my B&B in a shower. I just didn't care. <sighs> so this is, this is so nice. You can hear the birds and the bees. There's Black Lake over to my left, right off the, right off the trail. I just saw a heron fly off. I didn't have my camera out then though. It's not a very good view of it, but it's the first shot I came to. Black Lock. Here's a, here's a better view of Black Lock. Well, these are nice looking fellows, but I'm certainly glad I didn't have to go through a f the field of them. <laughs> they look a little hormonal to me. A little too much male hormones going on in this field. I think I'm looking down at Loch Skeen. I don't know how to say it. S-K-E-A-N. I'm gonna. I'm. Not, I know. I know. I'm. I'm misspelling it. And Kidu is not Kidu. I'm way ahead of myself. Valley Farnan is. I don't know. Some somewhere out there. I'm coming up on it. I know these are just little flowers in the center of the little two-track road, but I just think it's just pretty. A little delicate white one, and clover, and little purples, and daisies, dandelions. It just looks I don't know, spring and summer like. And the little bees. Just a little bit of a breeze, just a soft, gentle breeze. It just makes me feel like I'm a kid again. I feel like I'm back when I was a little kid. It's very nice. Isn't this just the magical little grassy track? What a perfect Saturday afternoon, well, Saturday morning. Huh. This just looks like a tunnel in Alice in Wonderland. This is a lot. This is so much fun. This is a fun little bit of trail here. Valley Farnan, everybody. I'm in Valley Farnan. I'm having tea in Valley Farnan at <laughs> Killarans Deli. I don't know what it is. This is the cafe. Over there is the little store and around around there, around the to the right is the post office. It's a three in one. It's lovely and it's not quite noon. It's just a little bit before noon. So I'm gonna sit here and take stock. I just I'm just leaving um, Valley Farnan. What a nice little town. And look who I came across. Oh, she's so white, I guess. She, she's got a pink nose. And come on, you guys, you're on camera. Oh, look at here. That's right, pose for the camera. Hey, little guy. Well, some of them are a little shy. 
another unicorn without the unicorn. She's hiding it. It only comes out at night on a full moon. We know the story. A pretty little forest track I'm on just now. Huh. What feels like the first day of summer. And it's but, what is it, the 16th of July? But today feels like summer for the first time to me. Not too hot, but nicely warm. People are wearing shorts and tank tops and sandals and it just looks like summer on a pretty forest trail. Oh, that's a high rise. You know, this is where the fairies live. At least one fairy family, you know why? Because I see one in that window. See? So, well, good afternoon, you fairy folk. Nice house you have. It's like Easter egg hunting. Every place there's a little niche. People have put rocks, decorative rocks. Fruit shop, butterfly bend. These little decorative rocks with sayings on painted things on them are everywhere. It's like it's like going Easter egg hunting on this on this little forest trail. This is a lot of fun. Won't hurt. Might help. Feel some spits of rain. What the? What's going on? Rain? Just spits. It about dries before it hits you. Well, I'm in the town. Now we gotta find Roddy's shop and B&B &B and whatever. That's made out of a tree. It's a beautiful harp. I actually am staying at Roddy's bar B&B. &B. It's a shop, a bar, and a B&B &B all in one. I'm in, oh, you can see my room, room number three. It's up there, I've got my, my pack in the, in, the win, in the chair next to the window. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about getting a B&B, &B, but why not? Two nights in a row. This is excellent. They can't find their stamp though, but it's all right. Pretty town. Got a pretty little park, waterfall, and flowers over there. I have to go investigate, but I haven't even taken my shoes off yet, so. I haven't even walked down around the town yet. I just had some sparkling water and. That's the door I go into. I got a key to the door. So. There's my lovely room. Huh. Very great. So you come up these stairs, turn the corner, go down here. Hi! <laughs> and this is my room. It's just a, it's just a cute little room. <clears throat> It's got a single bed, which is darling. It's got a little wardrobe, a little night table, a little red chair by the open window. It actually has some breeze that can come in. And opposite the bed, 
Here's your little sink. And some hand towels. And down the, down the hall <clears throat> is a shower and a toilet. I haven't looked at it yet. But this is, I'm looking out my window. You know what? It's starting to rain. I don't care, because I'm inside. <laughs> oh, Carolyn Heritage Park. The park was officially opened by his eminent Cardinal Cahill B. Daly, Catholic primate of all Ireland, on August 1st, 1993, during the 16th Oak Carolyn Harp Festival. This little town is just riff with flowers. And it did, you know, it got a big a Tidy Towns Awards for years. It's got a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I will walk up these stairs. Okay, steps. Let's see what this says. This is just a pretty little park. Big monument. It's beautiful. Little pathways, the little gazebos. And a little pathway to all the flowers. Kidu is a pretty little town. Well, little. And probably not near as bustling as it used to be, but it seems like Roddy's is the place to be. It's a, it's very pretty. They take great pride in their flowers and their landscaping. I think I will, it's starting to sprinkle. My summer day has sort of vanished. It's not cold, but it's sprinkling. I'm gonna sit underneath here in this quiet little gazebo and look at the hanging baskets and the flowers and the little fountain down there. There's books. Oh my gosh. There's a lending library. I'm going to get me a book. Yes. I'm not going to carry it with me, but I'll read it for tonight and I'll bring it back tomorrow. Yep. I got me a book. How's that for a little spellbinder? <laughs> Hometown Reunion. It's pretty thin. I might just put it in my backpack and read it later. You just never know. It's pretty lightweight. Just lounging on my bed. It's a good thing I got a book because there's no TV. Look at I've even got my very own bathrobe, so when I take a shower, I can put my bathrobe on. Go down there, take a shower, and come back. I, I don't think I've ever had a and b that had a bathrobe in it, so. What this b and makes up, I mean, um, lacks in size, makes up in bathrobe. And who needs it any bigger? I've got my socks. Drying on the back of the chair, drying. I got my stuff sitting here and my cute little light. It's kind of a cute little lamp, bedside lamp. And I don't need any bigger bed than this. This is nice. So I think I'm just going to call it a day. I'm not doing anything else. I'll eat my sandwich for dinner a little later. Read my book. Go downstairs and maybe get a little bag of chips to go with my sandwich and then I don't know, a thing of juice. Maybe not. Let's get some tea. So, it's going to be a wrap for the day. Me, my little toes. It's a wrap for the day. Day 31 is officially get it in the books. Ha ha ha!